after they have prayed and ministered to the Lord. Listen what God said. The Holy Ghost said, separate unto me, Saul and Barnabas. But when I read verse 5, they said they have John, Mark, and so in their company. I just told them. Sometimes some of us don't want to know big and to have them anointed. But guess what? When no anointing on the part of your life, see it and know about you. So no matter what we anointed people and do like you are consecrated, what John Mark was doing in the company, God even said, Say, your John? Paul and Saul, he said, Say, what are Paul and us? And Saul, but John, why can't you listen? My God. Yes. My God. Look what happened now. So the Bible says in verse 6, they broke up an assassin by the name of Paul Jesus. And the Bible said he which stood the men of God because they didn't want it to minister to one Paulius Julius. Glory to God. So guess what? Paul looked at him. And the Bible said, Paul, who is what I so called Saul. And I said that tonight because I want to get that across. Because you have some teaching I go around that Paul, Saul was changed to Paul. Saul never changed to Paul. Paul, who also called Saul, he went about using iron and nail interchangeably. The Jews who him as Saul and the Greek who him as Paul. So guess what Paul looked at him and said, You feel with subtlety. When will you stop to first the word of God? You will not see the sun for a season. And guess what they planned? Paul Jesus was blind, looking for somebody to lead him around. But guess what says the Bible said when they leave from there, John Mark returned to Jerusalem. You know why? Because the pressure of the calling started to turn up. And John Mark was not in the pressure. But from the initial stage, God said, Barnabas and Saul, he never said John Mark. Because he knows said John Mark was ready for the mission here. Ready, sir. Lord,